Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. You look at the top of the crank, uh, the, uh, the crank lobe for the uh, displacer. We've got a rubber band here that comes up and over to here. That kind of helps out to, uh, I don't know if you can see that in this. Maybe I'll get a different camera angle on it. Oh, geez, I won't keep you from seeing it running any longer. If you notice here, i got a little hook on the cam lobe, or the crank lobe, with a rubber band that kind of pulls over to here. Just slide it down until your lobe wants to sit level. Oop. I just turned this on. Better cut the heat back down. Should get flying here in a minute. I baked the inside already and the uh, piston wound up uh, getting a uh, residue on it that was kind of like glue. I cleaned that off with some 97% alcohol and put her back down. This needs a lot of adjustment. The crank needs to be redone. This crank doesn't travel so that the displacer comes all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. That sound you hear at the bottom, uh, they're going doink, 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 uh, is basically the bottom of the can flexing. <laughs> kind of sounds funny, it's not very quiet. Now I'll go ahead and release this so you can see what the difference in running is. Seems like it's going a little faster. That's fine. You can adjust with that. But for uh, running at a lower speed, adjusting this back down, is probably a little more helpful to help it make it through the cycle. This should be running a lot faster. <laughs> faster than that, actually. But anyway, now you get to see the, the engine run. The piston also needs to be a little wider. You figure 14 pounds of pressure inside, or and 14 pounds, uh, I guess what you call vacuum is uh, per square inch and the diameter of that is not pretty close to about uh, three quarters inches of uh, or closer to a half inch uh, worth of uh, pressure on it so I'm only getting about anywhere from seven maybe ten pounds of uh, pressure on that piston up to the crank and that's what it's running on this should run a little faster than it is Notice it's uh, melted the ice. These tin can ones uh, transfer heat to the top quite rapidly. Let's go ahead and see what it'll do. And of course I put a top to a coffee can lid on there. I figure if it's all tin can and junk, you might as well make the rest of it all tin can and junk. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this series as much as I have. I'm glad it's coming to a close because I've got many a thing to do. <laughs> Let's bake it. <laughs> oh, she's rattling around now. If you clean the piston with, uh, with alcohol, give it time to dry. As a matter of fact, before you put the piston in, put it on the stove and let it heat up a little bit and turn the crank. That way it's pushing air in and out. And it'll finish uh, clearing the air before you wind up exploding your machine. Not very good. Same thing if you get uh, water down inside. I had to put some super glue around the base of the, uh, of the uh, water block for the displacer rod and also uh, around the bottom of the piston again just to make sure it, uh, just to make sure it didn't get any water inside I had a little bit of water from one of the two get in there and I took the piston out and spun the displacer around and lo and behold big old puffs of steam came out until it dried out and that was a lot of fun so anyway just a little bit on maintenance of your machine Hope yours works for a long, long time. If you have problems, just contact me. I have no problem with answering questions. I uh, thank you very much. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Maybe we'll show a few more of this one. We also have the other one left to put a, a diaphragm on. 
And the diaphragm is going to be much wider, so you're going to get uh, probably a bit of, little better response. The displacer travel on the other one's a little bit shorter, so it'll probably work out better for it. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Thank you so much, and many good things to you and yours. <laughs> Can't let it run a while. I can hear the displacer touching the bottom. What I'm figuring is not coming up all the way. Whee! Turn the stove back on. Yeah, she's speeding up a little bit. Seems to be walking a little bit here. The water's probably warm. Oh yeah, she, the water's hot in the top. Had some ice up there, she'd be hauling. Bang, 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 bang. Piece of junk. Love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> Turn the heat back off. Y'all take care. Many good things to you and yours. We gotta make this run on a candle. Fine adjustment, something you do a little later on.